A giant flower and an electric boulevard are two of the features in Frank Gehry and Norman Foster's designs for Phase 3 of Battersea Power Station's regeneration. Battersea Power Station launched their designs to members of the press this morning ahead of a public consultation tomorrow. No, phase three is, uh, it, yeah, no, I mean, we're, clearly it's a commitment to fantastic architecture. Um, and when you develop buildings like this, they are going to cost more. But that's the commitment that we are making to this project and to London, because we really want this to be a great place. You wander around, great collection of fantastic buildings, and that will, that will basically cr connect the people who occupy them to the place and, great, and create a strong community. It'll be the place to be. It's going to be, it has enough, I mean, when the, when the, the uh, Tate Modern opened, it created quite a fuss, right? and this is 10 Tate Moderns in terms of what, what's in it, uh, fashion, music, uh, hotel, lodging. The third phase will include 1,300 homes, of which 103 will be affordable, and a 160-room hotel. Electric Boulevard, a new high street, will include 350,000 square feet of retail space and will be reminiscent of Regent Street's Crescent. A large flower-shaped residential building is at the centre of the development, which also includes significant public space, comprising roof gardens, terraces and balconies. The scheme will launch in London this year and the company says that they will focus on London buyers first. Well, we've made a, a very strong commitment to only launching in London. We did that 12 months ago with phase one where we launched only in London, uh, so we launched first in London and then that we're now launching the power station only in London because we think that is a building that's got such demand in the, in, in the UK. British people, particularly Londoners, love Battersea Power Station and I think it's right they've got the ch only chance to buy it. Phase three will be only will be launched in London first, like phase one, and uh, and hopefully again it will be taken up by by Londoners and people who will really contribute to make this a great place. This is Sophia Ferber for Estates Gazette.